Hey everybody, Bass Hydra here, and welcome back to uh, some Fallout 4. Move my microphone just a little bit, hopefully it doesn't cause static. Um, hope you guys are doing great. It is part 19. Um, the last time we got into this game, we went and did a quest for Father, I believe. Visit your quarters. Now we gotta go check out what we got. Um... I'm trying to mess with the sound a little bit, Good to see. Um, so hopefully the game's not too Sorry. overbearing and loud. Hopefully I'm not too loud either, but Third I'll try to lower it if I I've need to. Well, let's see. Well, hello. Your new quarters are here, sir. Well, thank you. Wow, this is a beautiful Tell place. Flowers. Look at this. This is, this is a really cool shot. Look at this. Right. Well, it's probably pretty, it's probably pretty nice to have a shower in the game. Because you didn't shower in like years. Battle of Bunker Hill. Nice. It's a nice little, nice little place we got here. I can't close the doors. Nice. Battle of Bunker Hill, huh? <coughs> Hell. I, uh, been streaming some, uh, Fallout 4 VR lately. It's pretty cool. It's a little difficult to do, but it's pretty cool. What's up? Ah. Hello, Father. Tell me, what would you do when someone has stolen from you? Uh, talk it out. I try and talk it out. See if things can be resolved peacefully. An admirable goal. And yet we find ourselves in a situation where something more significant must be done. The group that calls themselves the Railroad have acquired several synths from the Institute. Synths that had gone missing in recent months. And they no doubt mean to free these synths in their delusion that synths are somehow sentient beings. You've been in contact with the Railroad, so you're aware of their misguided beliefs. I think they mean well. They mean well. They're only doing what they think is right. You dealt with Libertalia. That's the result of their selfish, short-sighted plan. Usually they are a minor nuisance, but lately they have become more emboldened. I'm afraid we've reached a point where a response is necessary. We have learned the current location of these synths and need to reacquire them before the railroad can hide them. Sounds pretty simple. Sounds pretty simple. Hopefully, yes. But it's important that we act on this soon, before the Railroad has any indication we've tracked them. We also don't want the Brotherhood of Steel getting wind of the presence of the Sins. That would only complicate matters. Hmm, okay. I'll act quickly. You can count on me. You'll have a contact waiting for you just outside Bunker Hill. Good luck. I don't really need to attack Bunker Hill. Um, let's go ahead and save the game. And uh, let's see, let's go and form the Brotherhood, I guess. Well. Yeah, I guess we'll side with the Institute. Why not? I never side with him, so let's do it. Take the scope off this. I've been waiting for you. Sorry. Sorry to have held you up. Try and keep up from here out. Our targets are inside. Four cents under railroad protection. Majority of the settlement is uninvolved and are expected to run for cover. The situation appears to have escalated. A covert approach is likely impossible. We move in, secure the cents, and I relay out with them back to the Institute. You got it, man. Oh, okay. Maybe I won't have to kill anybody. 
Let me just take all that loot. No way to pick this. No way to pick this. Need a bobby pin. Get up there. Yes. Targeting. I hate this scope. Sorry, bro. Contact lost. Oh, he still doesn't care. Fusion core. Damn. Oh, well, that's that. Area sweep now. No. Give me your Gatling laser. Oh man, am I over encumbered? Hell oh, yeah, I am. Alright, fine. Mm. Let's drop this. Let's favorite this, yeah. Drop this grenade. The dynamites. Uh, I guess I can drop that for now. I'm not going to use it anyway. Hell yeah. Let's do it. What's up, bitches? I get cocked, bro. I am a god. Also, uh, I don't know if you guys want to, but I still wouldn't mind playing uh, 76 at some point. Right, bitch, get out of the way. Kablam. Never, oh, never really used a Gatling laser. I have in 76 a few times. Been looking for you. No, no, I, I, I've got money. It's yours if you let. Right. Uh, reset. F six thirty three initiate reset authorization code. God, it's a courser. Oh no. Sorry, you guys are safe. 
taking you home. Certainly so. God damn it. In better days, haven't it? Lose lose carrying too much. Yeah, I have a bunch of other crap on. You there, Synth. Come on, please. Just just don't. B257. No sudden moves. Please, no. Y915 init. Alright, Synth. Please. Z322 initiate reset. That's all of them. That's right. We got all of you. Good job, man. You uh, have fun with that. I'm gonna go back and talk to my son. Back to the institute. It's my son. Palak. I'm gonna call him Palak now. I just renamed him. It's black, the sun. Charlestown. Okie dokie. Back to the Institute. Where's my quest? Marker. Well, that's right. I forgot you have to talk talk to him on the top of the building or something. He's waiting for you up up on the tippy top or whatever for some stupid reason. Does it lead anywhere? Well, that's fucking lame. What's the point of even coming up here then? Alright, fine. Well, I wonder if I can maneuver my way up there without having to go inside. Probably not. I don't see why they would make it that way. God damn it, get up there. Get up there! Oh, you loser. Bullshit. You can get up here. Alright, fine. Let's go inside. So I want to be all technical about it. Inside the fucking. Well, I guess I didn't have this, the inside secure, so. That makes sense. Hello, dad, or father to son. Yo, man. Son, you know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once, since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason, but now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. Mom, you used to be different. It wasn't always like this. It used to be different. I can only imagine, standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. 
Sure. They kept me alive, too. They did, indeed. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. Hmm, well, you let me out? So it was you. You let me out. Yes. It was my decision. Certainly it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. I had no idea what kind of man you were, you see. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curiously... Why, well, sure did. Would you... After all this time... Attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. Well, I still love you, Sean. Sean, you need to know. I still love you. I can see that you do. It's... Well, it's remarkable. <clears throat> there are greater things to come after your success at Bunker Hill. The synths have been safely returned and will be repurposed. Thank you for your work. I hope you weren't at too much risk. There's always a risk. It was worth it. I'm glad you see it that way. The railroad remains an annoyance, of course. But they'll be dealt with as necessary. And you, well, you've passed the test, as they say. You have done well. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. Our appreciation, really. It's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. Is that right? I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen enough. It's time to go back in. Okay. Let's go do the board meeting. See what everybody has to say. Stay clean and helpful. Let's get this directorate meeting over with before we speak further. Well, a lot of look as cool as you guys do, but you know. I think it's time we begin. All right. I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ao has been keeping an eye on things topside. those previously identified. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. 
okay. to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on phase three? Uh, sir, are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all <laughs> yeah, here, Piper. present? <laughs> ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about phase three? Of course. Really? Well, there's no shame in being out of the loop, as it were. The project has been classified for quite a long time. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. Well, it's necessary. In this world, I'm sure a compromise is necessary. Quite right. For far too long, we've been dependent on others. On our surroundings, that time is over. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Important. Sounds like an important step. <laughs> that's... well... That's an understatement. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to phase three. And to how you will help. Sir. Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yeah? Well... But he's dead. He is gone. While I'm not overly fond of putting my own father in harm's way, he has proven more than capable of handling himself. Oh, yeah, I can y do it. Yes, but... This is not a matter for I'm debate. I'm a badass. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please. As I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. No! Please, please be serious. everyone, please, I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you, but we're running out of time. This can't be happening. I... I only just found you. I've had the same thoughts more than a few times. But we cannot let this stop us. Our work must continue. We can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my father as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? Seems Sweet. a poor choice. I am leader of the Institute. possibly justify this? He isn't one of us. He isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline, insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my father has already proven himself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. Wow, well, look at me. I just, I just got a promotion at work. I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Father. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. I can do it. I can do the job. Of course you can. That's why I made the decision. There's no question that some of the Directorate and the Institute at large will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us. But for you especially, I know that you'll do the right thing. Mankind redefined. Nice. 
I get some water. Mash fusion. All right, everybody. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more uh, something. Some more video games. <laughs> Thanks for watching.